Vacuum cleaners are designed to remove dry soil and other dry contaminants from carpets. And since 80 to 85% of the contamination tracked into buildings is dry soil, frequent vacuuming captures this on the surface of the carpet before it settles in. There are three key success factors with vacuuming, frequency, technique, and proper vacuum selection. Let's begin with frequency and the first question. How often should you vacuum? To answer this, review the color-coded traffic flow diagram created as part of the carpet maintenance plan. In this diagram, we've highlighted areas with light traffic in green, medium traffic in blue, heavy traffic in red, and extra heavy traffic in maroon. With the heavy and extra heavy traffic areas, the MAC Advantage recommends vacuuming at least once a day. Most companies' higher traffic areas include entrances, hallways, break rooms, cafeterias, elevators, stairways, main aisles, and waiting areas. With medium traffic areas, you should plan on vacuuming at least every other day. This can increase in frequency during especially busy days or during bad weather. Medium traffic areas typically include corridors, classrooms, and conference rooms. Light traffic areas should be vacuumed at least two to three times per week, even if they don't show visible soil. Boardrooms, private offices, and cubicles are usually areas with lighter traffic. By vacuuming regularly and following your predetermined maintenance plan based upon the usage patterns in your building and adapting as traffic patterns change, you can rest assured that you're giving your carpet the number one maintenance care it needs to help stay clean and attractive for years to come. Now, on to our second question about vacuuming. What is proper technique for vacuuming? The best way to vacuum is deliberately and methodically. Push the vacuum forward several feet, pull it back to you, and then do it again. Perform these deliberate, repetitive front-to-back motions in an overlapping sequence, moving slightly to the left or right about every four strokes until you've vacuumed all the carpet. Resist the temptation to speed forward down a long carpeted hallway, reverse directions, and race back. With this method, the carpet may look vacuumed on the surface, but will still contain much soil that could have been removed if it had been done correctly. To vacuum properly, you must go slowly enough to allow the vacuuming mechanism to pick up dirt effectively. In other words, vacuum like a tortoise, not a hare. Be sure not to forget corners and crevices where dust and dirt build up. And move furniture such as lobby tables and seating from time to time so you can vacuum under them. Now to our third question about vacuuming. What kind of vacuum cleaner should you use? Mac recommends dual motor, upright, top-loading commercial vacuums. The dual motor concept allows one motor to drive the brushes while the other creates the suction. The best vacuums typically have rotating cylindrical brushes and use high filtration paper bag filters. It's important that the vacuum be adjustable for different pile heights. Taking all of these features into consideration will help to ensure that you select the most durable, efficient vacuum cleaners with the most effective soil removal. In recent years, the CRI has combined the indoor air quality protection of its Green Label Vacuum Program with the enhanced cleaning standards of its Seal of Approval Program. As a result, you should choose a vacuum which has achieved a gold or silver rating under the CRI Seal of Approval Green Label. Then you're assured of both effective cleaning and good air quality. And here are a few more tips. First, use only bags and accessories recommended by the manufacturer and change the bags before they're two-thirds full. Second, brush rollers and belts also endure quite a bit of wear and tear and should be inspected regularly, ensuring that the vacuum head has no rough edges or bent metal that could snag and damage your carpet. And last but not least, it's a good idea to check your vacuum cleaner often to make sure its hoses and attachments are free of obstructions. As you've heard, a part of daily maintenance is taking care of spots, which we all know will happen. Prompt removal of spots and spills help maintain your carpet's appearance and prevent permanent stains. This reactive maintenance requires quick response and the right kind of spotter. 
As part of the maintenance plan, all facilities should have a spotting log so spots can be easily located and corrected on a timely basis using an approved product. In most cases, quick corrective action can remove the spot or spill without permanent damage.